Hey everybody, this is going to be circuit one. We're going to do two to three rounds of the Edgy's exercises. Let's start warming up. So we're going to do our jumping jacks matrix. Feet apart normal and then forward and back. Keep everything moving. Get warmed up. Just think about warming up quick, getting your heart rate up, and we'll just kind of rock and roll through the workout. We're going to do two to three rounds of this. So this is just going to take you through one round. You can replay it for the next two. But the point is to just keep going the whole time. You're not really going to rest between exercises, and then you'll take a minute or two and then complete the second and third rounds. So I will write on your sheet how many rounds you're supposed to do each week. We'll probably start with two and then go to three the second week and the third week. So um, right now, just basic hip, flex, hip circles. Stretch out your adductors, hip flexors, maybe get that lower back loosened up a little bit. Now is the time if you want to hit pause and go through some of your own stretching if you want. Um, getting a little hip flexors, or my bad, hamstrings stretched out. Reaching to the ground, doing your scoop around your foot, just like if you were walking, but we're just going to do it in place. So the point of this too is that you could use one set of dumbbells and you can do the whole workout in your living room if you don't have a lot of equipment or a gym to go to. And yeah, here we go, we'll get going. So we're gonna start with just normal squats, weight on the side. If you wanna vary this a little bit that you're using a little bit heavier for something like squats, but I'm using only 10s and this would be a pretty good workout. So remember that you have two to three rounds. Um, hips back, weight on your heels, and then we're gonna go straight into an overhead press. These first couple I did a push press, but we're just going to stick with just a normal overhead press. Keeping that core tight, working the shoulders. Sorry you can't really see me, I didn't realize my camera was pointed down so low. So. And you're going to go straight into a bent row. Your core should stay tight, your hips should be back in that athletic position. You're going to row the weight to about your hip and squeezing your shoulder blades together the whole time. You've got 10 reps of everything. Again, like I said, no stopping in between. Then you're going straight into a reverse lunge. Your leg that is forward is the one doing most of the work as far as when you're standing up. You're going to activate that glute hamstring and pull yourself up using that leg that's forward. Try to keep things moving. Don't go super slow. The point is to get a little cardio and strength together in one. So this should be your workout for the day along with 20-30 minutes of other physical activity and be ready to go. So finish out these reverse lunges and then we're going to go straight into just normal bicep curls. So a little bit of normal bodybuilding here, just focusing on getting strong, developing a good base of general strength and that should set us up and put us in a good place for the next cycle of summer training and then really be ready for a good fall training. All right, now we've got lunge jumps. So again, try to get low, explode up, use your arms, try to keep things moving. We've got 10 each leg, which is quite a bit. And you can tell I kind of start to get tired here, but I did all these videos in one day, so hang with me. Keep going, exploding up. Then we're going straight into push-ups. Um, I can tell I noticed that I let my lower back sink a little bit, so don't do that. Think about holding it like you're holding the plank, tucking your hips under, bringing the belly button up to your spine, staying nice and tight. So 10 push-ups total. And then right after that, we're into rocket jumps. So touching the ground and then exploding straight up. Really working on a little plyo here. Sink your hips back when you're down on the ground and then use your hips to explode up. That's where all the power is at, so that's where you really want to be using those muscles. So 10 squat jumps and then we've just got a little bit of core before we finish. So you're going to first do 10 lemon squeezers. Really pull your belly button to your back the whole time on those. Then we have 10 toe touches. You can use one dumbbell, both dumbbells, whatever you need. 
Really reaching up to those shoelaces. So again, 10 of those, and then you have 10 leg lowers. Um, I have to put my hands under my hips a little bit, but if you can hold on to something over your head or not put your hands under your hips, see I can't go very low, so do what you can do. Just make sure that belly button's pulled to your spine. You've got 10 of these. Wait a minute, minute and a half or so, get a drink, and you're gonna go through this two, two to three more times and keep up the hard work. Good job.